Hi, this is your weekly weather briefing for the Arklamis region for October 10th, 2016 from the National Weather Service office in Jackson, Mississippi. Here's the highlights we're going to be covering today. Um, it's not a whole lot going on. Everybody that's been around the region for the last month or so knows it's been really dry and uh, that should continue to be the case. We're expecting continued dry conditions and uh, we've had some fire weather concerns especially over this past weekend as the winds have been gusty in concert with the very dry atmosphere. Um, fortunately we're looking at the winds to subside a little bit but we're still going to have very dry ground conditions and atmosphere conditions which will lead to some fire danger especially to the first portion of this week. Uh, it's been a little bit cool over the past several days, especially in the mornings. Uh, that should continue to be the case over the next few mornings, but uh, temperatures will gradually warm as the week goes on, and uh, by mid to late week we'll see temperatures about 5 to 10 degrees above normal. Uh, we're unfortunately expecting little to no rain throughout the week and through the weekend. It looks like there's going to be a cold front approaching from the north, that uh, may get into some northern zones before it stalls. There's a chance for a few showers up uh, mainly north of I-20 uh, later on this week into this weekend, but it does not look terribly promising for measurable rain, or and it definitely does not look promising for uh, significant rain. Um, there's some signs that later on next week we might have a little better chance, but even, that's not anything to hang your hat on at this point. Uh, the seven-day forecast for Jackson, Mississippi kind of bears out uh, what I was telling you earlier with temperatures, um, maximum temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, which is uh, getting pretty decently above normal for this time of year when highs are supposed to be a lot closer to 80. And uh, low temperatures, uh, the, the first couple of mornings of this week will be uh, close to normal, but then creeping up uh, 10 degrees or so above normal by later on this week. As you can see, the rain chances for Jackson are going to be pretty low uh, right on through the weekend uh, with uh, late this week and weekend about 5%, which is, is really low that far in advance. But up uh, north of I-20, the chances may be a little better, but as stated, uh, still uh, not, not terribly great at all. Um, so for the drought situation, I made this graph on the right, which shows... Uh, the rainfall that the area has received over the past 30 days since uh, sometime in the beginning of September uh, when the, the dryness really started to take hold. Uh, across the south there's been some pockets that have had some decent rainfall um, but that's mainly south of 20 and uh, especially around Hattiesburg has had not too bad rainfall um, at least uh, over that span of time They've been dry over the past uh, four or five, six days, and uh, they're going to be pretty dry as well uh, throughout the next week. But some of these areas along the north of 20 have 5 to uh, 25 at most percent of normal rain for the last 30 days, and uh, the combination with the above normal heat and lots of sunshine has really helped to dry things out fast. Over on the left, I've got some... Um, records for Jackson and Meridian of uh, record dry streaks with no rain and uh, we're not really uh, approaching any record dry streaks at this point uh, but what I wanted to show here was that most of these uh, record dry streaks kind of span through uh, the month of October maybe start in September or span October some of them end in early November but just goes to show that uh, this time of year it is not extremely rare to have uh, long dry streaks in periods of drought as this is uh, typically can be the, the driest portion of the year around the region, um, especially if we don't get any tropical disturbances affecting us. So uh, from the drought monitor, you have um, areas of um, moderate to uh, locally severe drought kind of analyzed across the far northern portion of uh, our area in Mississippi. 
but abnormally dry across all areas of along and north of 20. Uh, it's going to continue to be quite dry over the next week, so expect this uh, uh, drought analysis to uh, worsen when it comes out uh, this week. So this is our, our fire weather danger graphic through uh, Wednesday. It looks like after Wednesday we may start to get enough southerly flow to bring in a little better moisture that uh, probably won't necessarily translate into rain but at least um, give us uh, a little better humidity and uh, that kind of helps out with the fire situation. But until then, in the afternoons, the uh, humidity values are going to be very low and all the grass is very dry and uh, the fuels on the ground needed for um, fire formation and uh, fire growth are, are, are abundant. So uh, that's especially the case along the north of I-20 where um, open burning is discouraged and um, most of these areas, or at least a great many of these counties and parishes across uh, this elevated area are already in burn bands where you don't need to be doing any outdoor burning. Um, but if you're not in a burn band, uh, I would say burning is still discouraged. And hopefully this can improve by later on this week. So that's the briefing for um, October 10th. Uh, thank you for viewing. And um, we will see you again either the, this coming Thursday or next Monday.